Okay, in this problem, a jet makes a landing traveling due east with a speed of 115 meters per second. If the jet comes to rest, that's going to be important there, in 3.0 seconds, what is the magnitude and direction? This is telling you what kind of answer you're going to need. You're going to need the, the number, unit, and the direction, since we know the direction in the first place. Due east, this is going to go into the final answer uh, of, hit, of its average acceleration. So we're trying to find really acceleration but they're just telling us that we want to know the number unit and the direction that it's going. So we have a jetliner and it's coming to landing and when it first hits the ground it's going 115 meters per second and then it's going to go all the way over here where at that point in time it's going to be at rest or zero meters per second and this whole thing is going to take 13 seconds oh, unknown it's going to be 13 seconds what is the magnitude and direction of its average acceleration so coming this way going to, to rest a equals question mark so same sort of way we go about answering the problem we want to find out what don't we have and we're not concerned with. This is another one where we don't even care about D. If it has D in it, we can't use it. We need something that has A in it. Once again, this has A. This has A. This has A. This does not have A. Can't use it. We don't want D. This has D. This has D. And same equation we've been using. VF equals VI plus A. T. So we start off this problem, we're trying to rearrange it for A, so we're going to subtract, got to get rid of what's added before we can break these two apart, minus VI, minus VI, so we get, I'm going to take VF minus VI, these two cancel out, equals, we don't need a plus anymore because it's just AT, and now we want to get rid of the T so we can be left alone with the A. So A equals VF minus VI over T. And when we plug our numbers in, the VF is 0 minus 115. And the time it takes is 13 seconds. And we assume it's going to be decelerations because it's coming to a rest. And so this is going to be in the calculator negative 115 divided by 13. So we can get our calculator. negative 115 divided by 13 and we get our answer of negative 8.85 8.85 just rounded that last number and that's going to be meters per second squared um, and then our final answer I'll just go ahead and rewrite it down here just good practice to rewrite it at the very end so you're going to be just decelerating or going a negative acceleration of 8.85 meters per second every second, so meters per second squared. And we know that it was going east. And there's going to be two ways of doing this right now. You can say negative 8.85 meters per second squared east. Or in other words, this also becomes because a negative east the magnitude of or the direction and magnitude of acceleration could be considered at 8.85 meters per second squared west. Either of these would be a good answer.